What's up everybody? This is Andrew with Uni Programmer and welcome to the very first Java tutorial. This tutorial set is going to be for beginners and eventually work into more intermediate and advanced Java programming. Now the first thing that we need to do is download software so we can perform code. What we're going to be downloading is Eclipse and in specific, uh, specific it's going to be Eclipse Neon 3. So open up your internet. I'm using Mozilla Firefox. Now in the description below there's going to be a link. Go ahead and copy that so you can paste it up here. Press enter. Now I'll pick the top one. In my case it's Neon 3. Alright. Now we're going to pick this top one again. It's Eclipse IDE for Java, Java EE developers. Now for me it's going to be 64-bit but if you want to make sure, go to your system information in your search bar and look at your system type right here, 64. If You may have 32, so pick which one applies to you. Start your download. Okay. Now, like I said, in this video, we're just going to be setting up this Eclipse. All right. Now that you download that, you're going to open up the Eclipse folder. Go to the Eclipse application down here. And it's going to be the larger of the two. Double click that and then extract all. It's going to give you your destination. Go ahead and use that and extract. Now this download does take a little bit. So sit tight real quick, and I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this video. All right, now that your download is done, we are going to open up that Eclipse folder, and then open up the Eclipse with the little icon next to it. Double click that. Unless you want to answer this every single time, just use this as a default. Press OK. All right, now that we have the Eclipse downloaded, we have our workspace. Gonna go we can go and download the Java Development Kit, which is the JDK. We need this for your computer to be able to compile and run the code in your Eclipse program. As you can see here, this is the website you need to go to. I'll have the link in the description. Once you get here, you're gonna accept the license agreement. And then you're going to go down and find which one you fall under. Now I have a Windows 64, so I'm going to pick this one right here. If, you're, if you have a 32-bit, you'll pick the 86. So you just click this. And then it'll automatically run and download and just install it in its default path. And it's going to say... Um, that it can harm your computer, it won't. So you'll just keep. And once you have it installed, you'll be able to use your Eclipse program. Like I said, the JDK is needed for your computer to compile and run the code. All right, I hope this helped. If it did, hit that thumbs up button. Please like, comment, and subscribe.